Alright guys, I'm doing a direct heat reball on an Xbox 360 Southbridge. So first what you want to do is get some flux of your choice. I'm using Kingbow. You don't need a lot, just a little little ball about the size of a grain of rice. Get that up close. So that's all you need, just a little bit. And when I use it's got a latex glove. Go around. Nice thin layer. And you'll get a feel for this the more you do. Can't really tell, it just hardly even looks like there's any on there. So next what you want to do is you want to get your stencil. So there you go, you can seal the pads through the holes. So next what you want to do, there's a few different ways you can do this. I'm going to do it this way here so I don't drop the stencil. I'm going to untighten your jig. Place it in. Tighten it back so it doesn't move. There you go. Now you can move it around a little bit more freely without worrying about dropping the stencil or the chip. Next, I use a bowl and just scoop up the solder balls that are in there. Put them on top. You can spread them around with your finger. I got a little bit of flux on these balls, so that's why it's been a little bit more of a pain to get them in there. And some fresh ones. If you don't like using your finger, you could always use another tool of your choice, like a toothpick or something flat. Whatever works for you.
Definitely a lot easier if you don't have flux on your hands. So there we go, I think I got them all covered. Just checking the light. Yep, so I got them all all the balls in the hole. Just now what you want to do. I'm gonna set my AOU968. To about one and a half airflow and jack it right up to almost let's see here now I'll go 399 degrees Celsius so I'll just wait for that to heat up Now, be hard to tell on here. Let's see if I can. You can kind of see how high I have it. I just have my forearm on the on the desk, and I'm just going to wave it around for about 30 to 45 seconds. Just kind of warm up the pads, get the flux going. So now I'm going to get right down in here to about two inches above. See if I can get a half decent angle on here. My tripod's kind of broken, so it's flopping all over the place. I'll have to hold it with one hand. Just keep going around the chip till the balls are melted. Try not to leave it in one spot for too long.
So you can see the ball starting to stick to the pads. So I've got one ball, two balls here that doesn't don't look like they want to melt. So I'm just going to add a little bit more flux. And I'll do that by just using a pair of tweezers. So just kind of wet the end of it. Looks like I have another one over here. So there you go, just dropped on its pad. And now it looks like everything is complete. So now a trick that I learned is it's a little bit too hot to touch right now because you've just been blasting 400 degrees at it. So loosen up one end. And just kind of keep playing with it until you can handle the heat and it's easier to pry off the stencil whenever it's still warm Pull that out, slip that aside. I'm just going to stick my finger in behind it. Looks like I may have picked off a ball. So you can just put that back on. I'll do it this way here, just add a little bit of flux.
here I go and put the other ball on there. There you go. A reballed Xbox 360 Southbridge using a direct heat stencil. Thanks guys, hope you learned something.